good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is morning. I'll take a look at that right there. Oh yeah, it's about 3 a.m. and uh, we're going fishing. Alrighty, good morning. Welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, if you saw yesterday's video, yesterday's upload, we did a 30 minute unedited video of fishing. They hadn't actually been to this body of water in a long time, so didn't know what was gonna happen. Yesterday, you can catch that video. I'll link it in the description, but um, we caught two. Caught one on a trap boat. Ooh. Well, that didn't take long at all. And one on a chatterbait. Chatter action. I think, I think, I mean, granted, I've only been fishing for 30 minutes, but I think a lot of these fish are chasing bait. We've seen some birds on the bank chasing bait. That'll probably be what we run with today. A lot of moving baits, shad imitators. I mean, we got a Gantorel just in case, you never know. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to fish for the remainder of the day and uh, showcase it with you guys. So uh, let's uh, have at it, see what happens. Stay tuned. Try this bank one more time before we jam to another spot. This is the bank we started on, and there was a bird picking off bait right on the bank. That's where we got our first fish on the Chapo. Thing hit it like five times. Oh, yeah, there we go. On the old shatter. Nice one. There's a nice large mouth on the cheddar bait. Up shallow. Man, this fin's kind of weird. Gnarly large mouth right there. Cool. Seems choppy. Seems choppy. If that's a word. Oh, lordy, lordy. That was kind of vicious. <laughs> the sound of that. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, not that small. It seemed a lot smaller than that. Man, I'm telling you, these fish are all like the same size. Wasn't really expecting a bite, but when he hit, thank you, sir. Was not expecting that bite. He kind of just nipped at it. Oh, wow, that one smoked it. Oh, I was kind of daydreaming again. Oh my god. Man, that's a lot of fun. That was a fun bite right there. Well, I think we gotta keep going with the old Chapo. These fish are definitely up in these bushes. They just go a little slower. Whoa, what was that? Wasn't looking that direction. It seemed like something either got crushed or a bird. I'm not sure. I haven't seen a bird resurface, so I'm assuming that was a fish. Oh, that was a pretty large smallmouth on the stop too, right next to the boat. Oh, see, that's why topwater gives you some heart problems. There has the potential to. You know, there's one right here. Just whether or not we can draw the fish out. We gotta do a stop and go. Seems to be when I'm getting bit. Stop and go. A little retrieve variance. And I'll tell you what, I think that's when the treble hook, the feather treble, comes into play. 
Stop and go, okay. I kind of told me to do that. It just took me a couple of fish to realize it. I think from what I've you know experienced in the past, I think that's when the treble, the feather treble comes into play. Like, I don't know if it really matters when you're like moving this through the water, but when you like stop it, it kind of sits up like that and that feather they probably see that feather and that's just a little more enticing to them. That's my logic at least. And uh, seems like a stop and go deal today. Oh, small mouth, I believe. Oh, another small mouth, nice. That's not a half bad one. Oh, easy. Nice brown one. Catching a couple of fish here. I might need to get the gloves on. Could be a, a bass thumb day, if you know what I mean. Don't get your hand torn up too much. There we are. Whoa, hello. God. Oh, it came off. Man, that's just so fun. You can catch them on a lot of baits, I'm sure, but if they're if they're hitting this, I mean, how do you change? You don't. That's the answer to that. Got to keep throwing it. Big one's bound to bite. Oh, it's just. Oh man, my drag is way. Oh, son of a gun! I was just about to say my drag is way too loose. <laughs> we we're just talking about a big one. That was a big one. That was like a, was, I don't know. It was big. I was just thinking, man, it's a risky cast in there. If I hook into a big one, I got to tighten my drag down and boom, she hit. Gotta love the timing on some of this stuff. If they smash us way back in there, we got to be able to pull them out. High risk, high reward though, throwing it back in some of these sticks. Oh, we'll save that one for the blooper reel. Oh, that'll leave a mark, I think. Jeez. Oh, God. What? Man, that's weird. Why aren't they choking this thing? Oh. That's funny. Man. Finally got one. Oh man, he pulled off. Stinker. Ooh. Oh gosh. Something really wanted that. Oh my God, that was a vicious strike. Vicious. Oh my God, I think that's big. That's a big one, I think. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. It's a better one. Man, what a strike. What a strike that was. That's a mean fish right there. <laughs> Meanie. That was an awesome bite though. I mean, this is definitely one of those baits that gets the most vicious and violent strikes. Crazy. Ooh. Get out of there. Oh no. That's what you don't want to happen. If this fish doesn't come off, it'll be a miracle. Look at that. <laughs> oh man, that's the, the risk you're taking when you make those casts into the jungle. Man, spinner bait seems like a good little deal right now. First cast with a spinner bait got smoked. Oh my goodness. 
Is that a giant? <laughs> Guys, it's my first spinnerbait fish in like five years. Granted, I don't throw it much, but... <laughs> oh man. This is, uh, I think, one of two spinnerbaits I own. First cast, oh my gosh. That's pretty sweet. There we go. Man, another spinnerbait fish. It's kind of fun to catch them on a spinnerbait. Yeah, kind of a small one, Mr. Slim. I'll tell you what though, every bite so far they've smoked it. Well, all two bites. They've clobbered this thing. I was debating on a trailer or not, but I guess I really don't need one. <sighs> oh yeah. Oh no. Oh no, that was a nice smallmouth. Shoot. Oh yeah, a little small. There we go. Oh, what the heck? Can't keep them pegged. The hooks are good. Huh, it's weird. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for today's video. Had to get off the water a little earlier than I thought. Uh, the wind picked up and yeah, it gets pretty bad out here pretty quick. So got back to the launch safely. Um, yeah, solid day out on the water. Things definitely went to plan. As you saw, caught them on top. This was the bait that did the damage today, the Berkeley Chapo. Had a little feather treble on the back. I don't know if it helped or not, but the fish definitely seemed to want it on the paws. I kind of found that out by accident, but uh, man, what a fun and aggressive bite that was today. <sighs> this kind of bite definitely gets your heart racing, and uh, man, it's a lot of fun. That is the video for today. Man, next, uh, next day off I have, I'm, it'll be hard to stay away from this place. So that's the video for today. As always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for coming along, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.